Hi, this is uh, my continuing blog. Unfortunately, the four hives that I had planned to blog had to get supered up last week and there was a terrible windstorm and I didn't want you all to have to listen to the wind noise again. So I'm going to show you what I'm, I did there and you can compare it to your own hive. Um, so this is, these happen to be hives that we split already, but the same thing's going to be, your, your hive might look similar. So what we do at this point is do a quick queen check. What we want is the queen to have enough room to lay eggs. So if, if they've filled everything with brood in your single box and there's only little corners, she can't really do much work. We want to maximize her output. So this is more or less, not a very nice looking sheet of brood, but more or less full of either brood or eggs. We can go in a little further. Once again, I'm looking into the cells and I can see eggs. Totally full of eggs or brood. The cap part you can see is the tan color. There's not very much honey here because she's they're working pretty hard to, to maximize uh, brood rearing. And that goes to a lot of their honey stores. Once again, totally full of eggs. It's gonna be impossible to see on the camera, but um, so I'm gonna look just for eggs. I've checked a few frames. I don't really have time to do all of them, nor do I need to. I've opened it up. I've looked at it. She doesn't have any room here. They don't have a whole lot of feed either. So what I'm doing is giving a second. This is a prepared brood chamber that we made up. It has honey on the outside edges, generally three of them. And in the center portion, they have a lot of empty area where the queen can now move up and lay to. So this is gonna help them out. Queen's gonna come up here and start laying in this super. So this is a double brood chamber. The queen will be laying in both of these. And this is honestly uh, what I recommend for most of you when you're starting up to winter. And that's what this is for, for wintering in a double. In the event you don't want to use a double, we look at this again. And, and wintering is in singles is certainly doable. It's just a little riskier in my opinion. So again, I make a little space on the edges pop out a frame I take a look full of eggs and full of larva this is nice fresh honey I can take a look at the next frame also all brood capped honey capped brood already I know that this particular hive is Restricted the Queen's egg laying is restricted and and consequently their Population is going to be restricted comes uh, honey flow So in the event that I wasn't wanting to use this a uh, second brood chamber at this point I would put a queen excluder on And a honey super This particular honey super has some foundation once again, it's mixed in with, with drawn comb so that we're not really causing a lot of stress that the bees don't have to fill out all foundation because quite honestly, they would rather swarm than go through a queen excluder to fill out foundation. It's doable, but it's just not something that they like. So then I would just close it up. The bees will come up here, draw out some foundation, fill the combs with honey, It'll free up a little space from the bottom box for the queen to continue to lay. Um, and if they move enough room out of there, empty enough room, 
she will be maximized anyhow. But I'm running it as a double, so I'm going to get another brood chamber. chamber. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to blame it on the smoke. And that's, uh, that's what this round's all about. Giving them a room to expand their nest. If you happen to already be in a, in a double because you overwintered your hive, you might be using this queen excluder and throwing the honey super on top already. These, like I say, have been split, so the population's not nearly strong enough to, to worry about putting a honey super on this yet. And that's a 